previously on Hell's Kitchen. Each team will have to recreate these five dishes. Let's go! Chef Ramsay tasked the chefs with a seemingly simple challenge. It seems, like, deceptively easy. But quickly revealed a jaw-dropping twist. One chef from each team is going to leave the kitchen right now. Decide! Go! Go! Trevor tried to bide his time. Go! As his team left one by one. The less people in the kitchen right now, the more I get to shine. But it was Motto who remained the last man standing. This is mine. I got this. In the blue kitchen. I'll go. This is good to go. The women left the kitchen with little fight. I'm leaving. Today. Come on. Ariel was confident she had it all under control. It feels like I'm on fire. I don't need any help from anyone. At judging, Motto's grits got the red team off to a strong start. I mean, that is extraordinary. But Ariel's chicken piccata brought the women back. The point is the blue team. Great job. And just when it looked like Trevor's Chiopino had won it for the men. The dish of the day. Thank you, chef. A rookie mistake. <laughs> no, it's just a shame you're missing a key ingredient. Oh, mother fuck. Forgot to put the fish on the plate. Cost the men the victory. Don't act like the boss if you're not the boss, man. That night. Tonight, I'm trimming the fat. Chef Ramsay made another shocking announcement. This morning, the first six chefs who were willing to leave their kitchen will be cooking for their lives. The chefs who stayed in the kitchen are safe. Good luck, brothers. For six chefs, it was do or die. Visually, it looks beautiful. One by one, chefs saved themselves. Brett, head to the door. Thank you so much, chef. Bro, congratulations. Thanks, chef. Jose, congratulations. Thank you, chef. Until it all came down to a battle of Atlanta. Congratulations goes to Scotty. Thank you, chef. Oh, my teeth are showing now. The wolf is here. In the end, Gizzy fell short in her quest to become the executive chef at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen restaurant at Caesar's Palace, Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Let's do it! Woo! Oh, oh yeah! I was really hoping that we were going to be able to get rid of Scott Lee. Enough yeah. of this, uh, you know, alpha male bullshit and everything. It's a competition for cooking, not how big your huevos are. You and me sitting here, I want fucking Scott Lee's ass out of here. I did. And I know he knows it, too. And I, you know, I don't care. Say it to your fucking face. So you don't want Scott Lee here. Why? Because of... Just he's... Talented? Because he's... No, not that. It's the wrong attitude and everything. Well, I get it. I'm trying to present myself in an executive chef fashion. Yeah. And he keeps calling me out saying that I'm trying to fucking show off for chef and everything. My voice is running whether or not chef's in that fucking kitchen. I ain't trying to show off. Understandable. And that's part of the game, man. Yeah. It's game, man. Play it. Oh, God, I've needed this in my life. Some grilled shrimp in there would have been tits. You have to be so grotesque. What do you mean? It would have been, it would have been good. I'm sorry. It's a, it's a northeast thing. Mm, it has okay. nothing to do with being gross, sweetheart. And I mean no disrespect by it. I'm not your sweetheart. Okay, Mia. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you bread. So in the northeast, when something's good or great, you say it's the tits. I like how he's breaking this down for her. So in the northeast, when something's fantastic, mm. it's the tits. I'll take it personal. No, it's not personal. You're tougher than that. So you shouldn't be offended by it. I'm not offended. Just trying to change it. You're not going to change the way that I talk. Not going to happen. So you don't want to improve yourself a little bit? I'm just fine, improving just well in life. Okay. Thank you, though. OK. Brent saying, oh, yeah, I'm never going to change. It's like, well, you're never going to learn. You're never going to grow. And you're always going to be the same old fucking idiot. Let's go. Rise and shine. Top 10. This is big. Congratulations. Every chef I know, their 
love of cooking began when they were young. Right now, I'd like you all to close your eyes. Think about when you were young, when you first fell in love with cooking, when you were excited to cook that, that first meal. Can you see it? Yes, yes chef. chef. Open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> Can I? I'm lost for words. It was homecoming. The theme was rolling 20. Gotcha. Trevor! Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Goody Two Shoes. With those britches pulled up to the top, but he looked like the white Steve Urkel. <laughs> Is that you? Love of food at an early age, chef. <laughs> 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 Bro, what are those puka shells you're wearing? What are those puka things? Puka shells and braces, Jeff. Scott, me. <laughs> <laughs> Love the braids. I was living my Snoop Dogg dreams at that time. <laughs> wow. Is that high school graduation? That was high school graduation, Jeff. Amazing. Oh, <laughs> nice shades, man. Ah! Holy <laughs> shit. We've got a little bit of a turf going on there. Just start to <laughs> Took a while out. to go in, Chef. Ariel. <laughs> Looks like you were dodging the paparazzi in those days. Uh. <laughs> that was my 15th birthday. Me at 15. <laughs> uh, would you like to see something even funnier? Very funny, <laughs> Jockey, right? Very funny. Great picture. Very funny. Well, it's your turn, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, <whoa>! yeah! <laughs> Where were you going? I was uh, just to school. Uh, you went to school? <laughs> yeah. The quilt. The kill. The kill. <laughs> yeah, Marino. Look at those shorts, man. Whoa, those are some short shorts. Honestly. <laughs> OK. So one Serious. more thing, uh, Chef. I have a little surprise. Time to get down to business. Here. Oh, <laughs> my God. Yes. The hair. Woo! Look at that hair. The hair, though. The hair is the same. I totally feel like if I was a 15-year-old girl and Chef Ramsay was in my class, I would have totally been crushing on him. <laughs> uh, Marino, get the hell out of here. Matt. Seriously? Bala. Right. Just like most of you fell in love with cooking at a young age, our next guest also fell in love with cooking at a young age. She comes from a culinary family. Father's a well-known chef, a restaurateur. And at just 15 years of age, is already making a name for herself in a culinary world. What? She's a very special young lady, and I'm quite excited for you all to meet her. My daughter, Tilly. Yes. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Good to see you, gorgeous. You good? Good, thank you. How was the flight? It was long. How was the boyfriend? I don't have one. Good, 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 good. Keep it like that. <laughs> they definitely look alike. The eyebrows, the hair, the smile. My goodness. But she looks a little cuter than Chef Ramsay. <laughs> Tonight, the dining room will be closed to the public as we are hosting Tilly's Sweet 16 birthday party. <laughs> Matt, for your next challenge, you'll be creating dishes for Tilly's 16th birthday menu. And she will choose which dishes get on her party menu. Tilly's been around the industry. You know she knows her food. I would expect nothing but the best from her palate. The team that gets the most dishes on Tilly's menu tonight wins the challenge. How much time shall I give them? 45 minutes. Well, that's generous. I'm going to let Tilly start you off. Your time starts now. Let's go. In today's challenge, each team must create a tasting menu for Tilly's Sweet 16 celebration that includes two appetizers and three entrees, including one vegetarian option. Who's, got app who's thinking appetizers? Do it. Think teenagers. Don't go too complicated. Exactly. Real pretty. Think Instagram. I want to do something like a play on fish and chips with the sweet potato fries. I'll do the vegetarian option if you guys want me to. I got yes, no, I'm doing my, my scallops crudo. 
I am not looking forward to cooking for these little millennial pains in the asses. They're glued to their phones and what? Yeah, hold on. Just let me send this text. Oven's on, check equipment. When did I get old? As the teams continue to cook, Chef Ramsay takes a moment to talk to Tilly about her party requests. Anything you do not want to see tonight. Can you try control your temper tonight? Because don't want you to be embarrassing. Uh, listen, I will. No I'll swearing. I, uh, I'll try not to curse, okay? <laughs> I'll try my best. <laughs> Are you doing sliders? No, Chef. I'm uh, using the brioche for my pesto kind of puree. I want to do an appetizer. I'm going to do an app with scallops. I'd like to keep it classic Hell's Kitchen, but I have this plating idea of kind of to plate the pesto on a tea. Tea for Tilly. It's her night. Brett, what are you doing? I'm doing a baked ziti chef with a meat sauce. I feel like all okay. kids love pasta. I think she's not your average kid. <laughs> They're all girls coming. Tonight. There's no guys coming, right? Um, we have to wait and see. OK, OK. What would you like for dessert? A four-layer birthday cake. Oh, Tilly. Every guest uh, should have their own, like, personal cake. OK, you just give me an idea for a punishment, then. That haystack looks amazing. You like my sweet potato haystack? Yes, it's beautiful. 30 seconds to I go. Need that onion you let me know if anybody needs anything. Let's go. Anybody got a line? Come on, Seven, six, Grab five. Me. Yes, Four, beautiful, homie. Three, come on, bro. Two, I like it, Scott. One, you got it, girl. and serve. Yeah. Let's go. Thank you, chef. That okay. Was awesome. Let's begin with the appetizers. Let's go. In today's judging, Tilly has total control and can choose as many dishes as she likes to feature on her Sweet 16 menu. The team that gets the most dishes on the menu will win the challenge. Ro, describe your dish, please. I wanted to do a lighter appetizer. I did our pan seared scallops. Tried to plate it in the shape of a tea, because after all, it is Tilly's night. I love the tea. It's really nice. Wow. wow. Interesting. Uh, ricotta scallops. That's a bit of a strange combination for me. I love the orange in the pesto. Really yeah. good. Right. Would you like rose uh, scallops with pesto on your menu? Um, I think I'm going to pass on this one. I have to be careful with that ricotta. Uh, right, Mono, give an insight to your tuna, please. I gotta have you a little birthday confetti and then also like little fireworks. Well, I think it screams fun and I love the sauce. I think that's a yes. Thank you. Yeah. Mother, good job. Can I? Wow, look at that one. I went with an Asian twist on the kebab. Chicken, shrimp, and steak. Um, I mean, I don't think of kebabs for 16 year old. Uh oh. What do you think, my darling? Kanae's modern. Kebabs, would you like them on the menu? Well, I don't have to think about this one. Tonight, Hell's Kitchen is hosting a Sweet 16 dinner for Chef Ramsay's daughter, Tilly. Kanae's modern kebabs, would you like them on the menu? Each team has presented two appetizers with the hopes of getting on the menu and helping their team win the challenge. Well, I don't have to think about this one. That's a definite yes. I'm very excited about those ones. Definite yes. Good job. Good job. Good job. This is a wow dish. <laughs> really good. Thank you. It just made me feel so good inside. Kebab's gonna be swinging up in this kitchen. Good job. Red team, blue team, one apiece. With the score tied, Scotley hopes to put the red team in the lead with his scallops crudo. Why crudo? I didn't want to just do the same seared scallops that we serve every day for, for service. Well, I love how fresh it tasted, but. It wasn't my favorite one. Yes or no? I think it's a no for that one. A no? OK. Entrees, please, let's go. Each team has prepared three entrees for Tilly to choose from. You can't have two tofu dishes. That's all I'm allowing in Hell's Kitchen. Up first are the vegetarian dishes prepared by Trev and Mia. Please, Trev, describe this dish. I did a broccoli and bok choy masala. I love the coconut milk flavor in it. It's really Thank you. nice. Yes, yeah, smart move, not too spicy. Next, please, Mia. I made a creamy mushroom fricassee. I added some crispy tofu, and then I added a rosemary foam on top. I love the look of it, and mushrooms are my favorite vegetables. Oh, yay. Which tofu dish would you like on your Sweet 16 menu this evening? Well, they were both excellent dishes, but my favorite was Mia's with the mushrooms. Mia, wow. Good job, Mia. So we're left with four dishes now. Trying to impress a 16-year-old girl never worked for me. But does that really surprise anybody? 
Now, this one looks interesting. Please, Jose, describe this one. That's uh, my play on fish and chips. Underneath the sweet potatoes, you have a mango mojo. I love it and definitely want it on the menu. Wow, congratulations. Thank you, Taylor. It's my honor. Hell yeah. With Jose evening the score, Heather hopes to impress Tilly with her filet mignon and red onion jam. Yes, I think I would like to see it on tonight's menu. Thank you, Tilly. Wow, filet mignon it. is Thank on you. the sweet 16. Thank you. With both teams down to their final dish, Brett. Brett is the red team's last chance to tie the score and stay in the game. Today I prepared a meat sauce, mm -hmm. baked ziti. I feel like y'all young adults love cheese, love pasta. They can all kind of, you know, as they're chatting at the table and playing and Snapchatting and pictures with the baked ziti, everybody can just kind of get in there and get at it. I really need to get a point for the red team. I have to. Kids love fucking pasta. Come on, for sure, 100%. I think it's a bit heavy, so maybe not for my 16th not birthday. Not for your 16th birthday. Uh, ladies, first of all, congratulations. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you won. Ladies in the house. Let's go to the final dish. Harold. I did a haystack of sweet potato. It's meant to be cracked right over the chicken. Gotcha. Very impressive. A lot of flavor. And it's fun as well to crack the hay in. Yeah, I love that. Is it a dish that you'd love to see on your menu this evening? Uh, yes, I would love to see it on my menu. Thank you, Terry. Congratulations. Thank you. Right. Well OK, see you tonight. Thank you Bye. very much. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, ladies, well done. Thank you, Thank Chef. You, Chef. Congratulations. You're going to be spending your day in your very own Malibu mansion. Ew, yeah. <laughs> yes. The place is stunning. It's breathtaking. And just to sweeten the deal, I've arranged an incredible visit from the Van Leeuwen artisan ice cream truck. Yes. 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 You've heard of it, Mia? Yes, Chef. I love ice cream. I'm she so knows. excited. She knows it every night, Chef. So <laughs> she knows it every night. Have fun in your Malibu mansion, please. Thank you. Yeah? Let's go. Thank you, Thanks, Chef. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> ice cream in poor time. Yes. Men, this is Tilly's big 16th birthday. I'd like every single guest to have their very own four-layer personal birthday cake. There'll also be a mobile photo booth for Tilly and her friends. Tissue, paper, flowers for the backdrop. Beautiful bouquets. Yeah. These tasks are all about the details, so please be precise. The chef. Yes, chef. chef. OK, gents, head to the paddock before we get that call from Mourinho. The chef. Everybody on my team and the other team has been out of the house more than I have. I'm going to be like Quasimodo in a couple of years, just screaming the bells, the bells. <laughs> The villa is just insane. I would love to throw a party here. Look yeah, at no, the we water glistening. <gasps> yes! Yes! <laughs> I love dresses! <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> Kane, you don't look like a diva at all. <laughs> My cramped episode is beating Mariah Carey's right now for sure. <laughs> Jockey, are you mad? <laughs> Christina, what is she Christina, doing? Christina, what is this? Has she given up? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Chef. <laughs> Oh, my God. Can I get a New Yorker? You absolutely can. Oh, ah! Can I please try the vanilla oh, and Thank the you. chocolate? Is it rose or rosé? Rose. Can I try that one, yeah, please? Yeah, sure. Can you just give this girl one of everything? <laughs> I tried every single flavor. <laughs> Mia, you're so cute. You're just smiling. Yes. While the ladies enjoy a carefree day in Malibu, the men are hard at work making cake and decorations for Tilly's party. Give that up. Chunk, chunk. I don't know about that. This is really important to Chef. This is his daughter. It's her sweet 16. Um, and, and we got to do it right. The pressure is definitely on. So this would be folding like this. These flowers, oh my god. Just understanding the directions, um, trying to see how even to begin one. I I've never been that confused in my life. Take a look at that, bro. What you think? 
This right here is gonna be take longer than them cakes. It's crazy, right? Can I call my daughter for a lifeline, please? Obviously, I can read directions. I'm not an idiot. I'm an intelligent guy, but none of it makes sense. Remind me never to do tissue pom-poms, my daughter. That looks nothing like the picture. All right, Lotto, you got this. I'm gonna go help him over there. All right, there. I heard that. This is ridiculous. What the fuck is this small scallop tissue, though? What's the scallop? But I'm blacked out. I don't feel good. My heart is beating like a monster. I don't know what's happening. I just, out of nowhere, I started sweating profusely, like leaking. Fuck. I literally feel like my heart is going to blow out of my fucking chest. Just trying to take some deep breaths, my man. Yeah, I have been. I don't know. Like, even my arms were sweating. Like, all the, like everywhere. There's some air in your lungs. If you feel my heart right now, it's brrrr. Let's get the medics real quick. Your heart, um, you know, that's something you don't play with, and that's something that, um, you know, you take seriously. You know what your blood pressure normally is? No, I haven't okay. checked my blood pressure in God knows how long. We'll find out what it is now. Probably not good. At this point, we usually go ahead and call 911, have them put you on the monitor. Chest pain is not something we mess around with. The last time I left because of my back being blown out. You've done bloody well, but I cannot let you continue. And uh, right now, I feel like I'm about to have a heart attack. I don't know what's wrong with me, but whatever it is needs to stop so I can continue in this competition. <laughs> we're, we're gonna take a look. We're gonna see what's what. Non provoking. He felt very diaphoretic, and he's stabbing chest pain or punching chest pain. Ultimately, you know, to the hospital. Stabbing chest pain or punching chest pain. Ultimately, you know, to the hospital. No, I feel like, nah, man, I can't do that. This is just something you gotta do. We're just gonna have you sign against medical advice. Yeah, I'll sign whatever I need to sign, of course, a waiver, absolutely. My heart will explode out of my chest before I leave again because of an injury. Now, you got any problems, don't hesitate to call 911 again. Yeah, y'all ain't coming back, man. All right. I'm gonna die in competition before I go out on some injury shit. Thanks, fellas. I didn't know what was going on with my chest, but um, a few minutes later, I'm back in the motherfucking kitchen with my team, and I feel like a million bucks. After Brett's decision to remain in Hell's Kitchen, both teams are back at work, preparing for tonight's big celebration. Oh, gentlemen, please line up. Dining room looks incredible, let me tell you. Blue team, line up. Line up, line up, line up, quick. Tonight, as you know, is very important to me. A sweet 16 is a birthday to remember. You guys devised literally two thirds of the menu. So I'm looking for a smooth service. Is that understood? Yes, sir. And at the end of service, I want to be happy. What do I want to be? Happy, happy chef. chef. That's right. Get on your stations. Get set up. Let's go. I'm excited to do this, you guys. Mourinho. See you, chef. Sweet 16. We're ready. Open house kitchen, please. Let's go. Computer. It's a special night in Hell's Kitchen as Chef Ramsay hosts a Sweet 16 celebration for his daughter, Tilly. Happy birthday, Tilly. Chef the chef, let's go. Tootie. I'll do the seared rare ahi tuna as well, please. In addition to Chef Ramsay's classic items, tonight's menu will also include Tilly's favorite dishes from today's challenge. Happy birthday. Thank you. First order, here we go. Two tuna, two skewers. Yes, sure. sure. Two tuna. There's an immense amount of pressure. Everyone wants to nail this service and make Chef Ramsay happy so we can be happy. Honey up this tuna. Hey! Tuna's up right now. Yes. All right, I'm walking two skewers. Hey, look where we've gone. I can hear shouting. Look where we've gone. Ragged, hey, like a fucking dog chew. No. Fucking way. No way, I've seen better tuna in a fucking takeout. He's never shouted at me. He's not scary at home. 
Take the tray back yes, and chef. give me fucking proper tuna. Hey, young lady. Yes, chef. Stop hacking it, okay? Yes, chef. Give me that tuna. Okay. So from now on, I'm slicing all the tuna. Thank you, Kane. Two tunas. Two skewers. Table 20, yes. On order, four covers table 31, two risotto. Yeah, two skewers. Let's go. Yes, chef. Have you asked for any help yet, Scott Lee? No, not yet, chef. I got this, chef. I I'm ready for you, chef. After last night, I'm definitely looking for redemption. My whole thing is go hard or go home, and I'm not going home. Risotto, please. Risotto, coming in the window. Risotto, really nice. Thank you, chef. Let's go. Hell yeah. This is no fluke. I'm here to cook. This shit feels amazing. Fucking right down. Go, John. With Scott Lee and the red team riding high. Very nice, Risotto. That's delicious. Really good. Carbonara right here, and then next carbonara working. Kane is back in the groove in the blue kitchen, and appetizers are flying out to party goers. So good. Now we're going to go with our entrees. One halibut, one fish and chips, one beef one into a New York's trip. Bro, give me a time. I need four minutes. I feel completely comfortable being on the meat station tonight. I've done well on the meat station in the past. I am the steak queen, and it's my chance to prove it. Walking meat chef, yes? Walking fish and chip. Her, that's the whole table. Let's go. Behind. Ladies. Oh, my god. Oh. Look, look, no sear there, cremated there. More importantly, it's fucking ice cold. I got it. Come got on, Rope, please. Yes, chef. Right, red team. Two fish and chips, three fillet. Yes, yes chef. chef. How long, Jose? Six minutes. Six minutes. Yes, yes, chef. I love the adrenaline rush of service and just pushing out this food. Walk into the past, chef. Maro, let's walk. Whenever you can get all this stuff out and it's all perfect, that's just that. Ah, at the end. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Jose. And nicely cooked. Thank you, chef. Motto. Fish is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Beautiful. Good Thank job, you, chef. Trying, man. Oh. Jose, Motto, me, we're a force to be reckoned with. These vets. Better step it up. Let's rock this, guys. Yep. Come on, let's go. While Jose and Motto continue to push out entrees at a steady pace. Oh, that's good. Oh, that looks amazing. Mm. It's so good. Over in the blue kitchen, Ro is trying to redeem herself on the meat station. Pushing New York, guys. I need a solid two and a half, all right? Please push it. I'm a little worried about Ro. However, if we can pick back up the momentum, we're going to be great. Walking refire strip steak, chef. I'm walking halibut. Refire strip steak, chef. Oh, he smiled. That's a good thing. Oh, no, it wasn't a smile. Oh, no, it wasn't, wasn't a smile. smile. <laughs> it wasn't a smile. No, 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 no. Chef Ramsay is throwing his daughter Tilly's sweet 16 birthday party at Hell's Kitchen. Oh, he smiled. That's a good thing. And Rose's second attempt at New York Strip has just hit the pass. Oh, no, it wasn't a smile. No, it wasn't, <laughs> wasn't a smile. It wasn't, <laughs> wasn't, wasn't a smile. No, 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 no. It's... Come on. I'm not going to fucking swear in front of the fucking kids. Hey, just come down. All of you. Damn it. I'd rather you trim the fat off. It's rare. It's fucking white fat, and it's rare. Come on. Yes, yes. Shit. Let's go. Fucking hell. Come on, bro. Get that fat trimmed off that one that's already seared. It's trimmed. Let's go. It's trimmed. It's trimmed. I have raw meat coming back like it's my fucking job. I am definitely worried that we're gonna ruin this poor girl's birthday. Apologize for me, yes, chef. There's no good time to make a mistake, but this is definitely the worst time to make a mistake. Walking meat, chef. Free fire strip steak, chef. Let's go. I like how it's cooked. Three fish and chips, two filet, one year old strip, yes? yes chef. chef. I got your chips in the basket, Hurt. Yep. Don't worry about those. I'm glad I didn't have a heart attack this afternoon. I think it could have just been anxiety, but this is uh, Chef Ramsey's daughter's birthday, so do whatever I got to do to help my team so we can finish this dinner service properly. 
Overcooked them, no? How come I've got all these burnt bits in there? I don't want these burnt bits of shit in here, guys. Come on. Yeah? Yes, yeah, chef. I don't want bits of charcoal in there, guys. Yeah, I don't want these. Look at this. Come on, guys. Yeah, shit. Up. Don't sell that shit, Brett. You know it's coming right back. Yeah, I'm waiting for fries. 50 seconds now, chef. There's no reason to start fucking this up now. With Brett recovering on his second attempt at sweet potato fries. Let's go, let's go. Over in the blue kitchen. Guys, I'm running fish and chip. Mia has delivered her first attempt at the fish. Can you get a bit more batter on the fish, please? More, more, more batter? batter on the fish. Make more it thicker. Batter. Yes, chef. The only thing I'm doing is fish and chips, so I want to get it right. Running fish and chips, guys. Chef on your left. Behind. Raw fucking fish. Hey, 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 just stop two seconds. All of you, come, come here. Come on, guys. I, I, come here, just touch, just, just, oh. just touch, no, but touch it. It's, you touch it. It's ice cold, Chef. It's fucking ice cold. Mia, do you have another one behind it? Yes. Give me the head and the tail. I'll put it back in the fucking water. Mia, get the fish in. Stop giving us raw shit. This is ridiculous. Jesus Christ. Garlic, Trev. Garlic. All right, Trev? Yeah, I'm good. A little easy on that garlic. Take the... That much, that's too much garlic, man. What? I would never talk to somebody the way that Scott Lee talks to people. He barks at them. He talks at people, not to them. Garnish, please. Come on, push the fucking garnish, Jeff. Spinach for the filet. It'd be nice to just mix this in a little bit. It'd be nice to just mix it in a little bit. He didn't listen to me, and look what happened. Chef Ramsay sent the fucking spinach right back because there was too much garlic. Clumps of garlic? We don't work like that. We don't just clump garlic. Garlic lightly no. sauteed first. Yes, yeah, Chef. It's like disappointing your dad, man. It really is. And when he has to come over and show you, it's embarrassing. Finesse, caramelized garlic, and then in with the spinach, right? Yes. Crack the seasoning. Yes. Shit! I know the trick of the table 99, yes? Tilly's table. Two New York strip, one Hannibal, one fish and chips. Yes, yes, yes. Chef. Sorry, baby. Two minutes coming with a halibut. We started off a little rough, but I don't want to disappoint Tilly. I want to give her a night to remember. I'm walking halibut. Heard. New York strips are 30 seconds behind. Yep. Are you guys hungry? I'm starving. Hey, hey. How long do you need? Uh, no, hey, all of you, come here, come here, come here. I, I, I'm, I, 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 I'm lost for words. This is Matilda's table. Fuck. I have another one right here, Chef. I had such a perfectly cooked halibut for him. I was rushing and brought the wrong pan. It's, it's, it's fuck. Just touch that. I gave you the no, wrong one. No, just touch it. I gave him the touch wrong it. one. That's the right one. I don't care what you've done. It's oh, raw. Oh, he just threw it. It's an hour and a half into Chef Ramsay's daughter Tilly's 16th birthday celebration. I'm lost for words. But Ariel's raw halibut for Tilly's table has made this night anything but sweet. I gave him the Touch wrong it. One. That's the right I don't habit. care what you've done. It's oh. raw. Oh, he just threw it. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Wave the white Leg. The last five fucking tables. Timing is way off. What's happening? Get out. Get out. <sighs> I'm the one who's got to stand there in embarrassment with the fucking stupidity on my face. Yes, chef. Get yes, out. Chef. Hey, two nominees that'll make your team stronger. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Sweet 16, my ass. You'd be feeling pretty good if you were the red right now, wouldn't you? Motto, Scotley, Jose, let's go. With some of Tilly's guests still waiting on food. Walking to the past, chef. The red team's talented rookies take over the blue kitchen. I have the fish and chips for you. Thank you. And deliver the final dishes of the night. But I have to say, nobody makes fish and chips like my dad. Good job over there, by the way. Very good hey, job. Motto, on point. Thank you, chef. Yeah, Jose, that's the best performance you put in. Yes, chef. To go into the Blue Kitchen today and finish up their dinner service, 
that was a good feeling. Thank you very much for coming. It's been really fun, and thank you for the really good food. My pleasure, thank you. And I'm glad you could all make it. It's been really special. Excellent, thank you. Right. I feel like we all let Chef Ramsay down. I'm mostly upset about that because it's his daughter's birthday. This wasn't the service to, to fuck up. <laughs> all right, where are we starting? I'm not gonna beat around the bush. Meat, fish and chips, and then my la the last halibut. Yes. That's the order of the fuck ups tonight. Yeah. Who was cooking the fish and chips over there? I was cooking the fish and chips. The last one that got sent back is because I had to refire one that I had. No, but I'm talking about the ones from earlier, just the not double coating. Yeah, the batter wrong. Like, I fucked up a fish, but Kine also fucked up a fish. Your tartare was getting sent back because it wasn't sliced, wasn't sliced properly. properly. Yeah, yeah. Nia needs someone to take the heat off of her. And I'm not buying it, I'm not having it. I vote Ro and Kine. I'm gonna go Row and Mia. Row and Mia. So, Row and Mia. I vote for Mia and Ariel. Well, I'm not going down like this. Chef Ramsay knows that I'm a strong chef. I think he knows it was a meat heavy night. And I think he knows that there were two motherfuckers over on fish. I know the steaks slowed up things, but I, I was alone. There was two of you guys over there. So it's not all on Mia. Like if that's your station, you have to own it. So would you rather I go up than Mia? One station, two people. So if anything happens on that station, it's both of y'all's responsibility. You're not not going up for the meet tonight. There's no fucking way. I accept and own my mistakes, but between Ro and I, are you kidding me? Like, whatever. I don't I can't. I don't understand. Ariel, at the end, where we needed yes, it I'm most. Yes, I'm aware that I grabbed need, the wrong Where halibut. we needed it most. Why did we need it most? Because the whole fucking night was fucked. Your meat's gonna get off scot-free, sure, and send me me up. Go ahead. When you learn how to cook a mid-rare steak, you fucking call me. It's your station, dog. I said, I'll go up instead of her if you'd like. Whatever you guys wanna You're do. You're not getting it. Whatever you wanna do. Go fuck yourself. Ladies, have you reached a decision? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Heather, blue team's first nominee and why? First nominee would be Ro Chef. We had all those proteins come back, and that killed the momentum of every station. Blue team's second nominee. Our second nominee, Chef. Mia. Why? We had at least two or three fish and chips come back first. They were battered improperly. And then the last one, Chef, that was battered properly came up to you raw. Ro, Mia, step forward. Ro, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, um, even when things went wrong in our kitchen tonight, I never gave up on my team, ever. I did the hardest thing, and that's not to shut down. I wanted to finish that service so badly for you, Chef. I know what it meant for you, and I just wish we would have performed better. Mia, are you in way over your head now? What happened tonight? When I came to my station, I didn't have batter done. Why not? I didn't set it up, Chef, so Who I- Who set it up? Kanae set it up. So, Kanae, you set yeah, the chef. station up, and you didn't make the batter. Chef, I, ma I started making the batter as soon as we got into the kitchen. She's trying to play the blame game. It was done before dinner service. It was done before show. dinner service. She is lying right now. Regardless of who's set up, all stations were set up on time. So let's She's stop talking about that. She's trying to play the blame that. game right now. Mia, what separates you from Ro? Chef, I was communicating the whole night. I do take ownership of my station. Whenever I set up a station, I make sure that it's set up for success, and I feel like mine wasn't set up for success. I'm a team player, and I'm a leader, too. Ro, what separates you from Mia? I think Mia takes a little bit longer to kick into the next gear. It's your station, it's your setup, it's your responsibility. No matter what, no matter who set it up, and um, I just think I'm a stronger chef, and that I can fight back and stay vocal. My decision is...
Mir. Back in line. Ro. Listen and listen carefully. When I put you on meet tonight, I put you on there for a reason, because I need you to see the old row. And your performance tonight was miles away from what you've done in this competition. Yes, Chef. Right now, you are not ready to be my executive <sighs> chef at Health Kitchen Las Vegas. Please, give me your jacket. Yes, Chef. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Blue. Bye, Ro. Bye, Ro. Bye, Bye Ro. Bye, Ro. Bye, I'm proud I didn't shut down. I'm proud I never gave up. But the mistakes I did make were just too severe to counteract some of the good I did tonight. And I totally own that. Chef Ramsey shook my hand, looked me in my eye, and uh, that's the best way you can go out of Hell's Kitchen. Red team, great job. Well done. Thank you, All chef. of you. Red Thank team. You, chef. Thank you, Chef. Blue team, quite the opposite. Now, get out of there. Yes, yeah, Chef. Right there. That right there is going to eat each other away. That's good for us. Well, she didn't set up my station. Well, she said, you have to have a deal. It started. Yeah. yeah. Because they it's... wanted her gone. Yes. I have a feeling that they're going to be really divided, and I don't I think know. it's going to be good for anybody on that team. Me and her were communicating on it. I know, but nobody communicated with me. I know they're saying, oh, yeah, you know, she's playing the blame game. No, I'm not playing the blame game, but I don't feel like I was the one that should be up for elimination. The tempura batter wasn't ready. But so that's why the first order came back. Everything was set up. Mia has to have a little chip on her shoulder that she can't get off, and that chip go weigh her down. Last time she was here, Ro was a tour de force on the meat station. But tonight, her performance left me as cold as a raw New York strip. Next time on Hell's Kitchen, the competition is getting fierce. There's four of them. We don't want to be embarrassed like that. Will the men's losing streak to the ladies <laughs> yeah. lead to cracks in the foundation? Why don't you ask first before we do that, though? No problem, boss. I'm right on top of that, boss. Here you go with the sarcastic shit, man. I'm going to flip my lid pretty soon. I swear to fucking God. That will bring down the entire kitchen. This is a joke. They're flailing around like idiots. And when one chef smells blood in the water. Just look at that. Textbook. Thank you, chef. It's like getting curb stomped or something. Will she take the opportunity to go on the attack? Let me bring you some help. Ariel, come here. Yes, chef. There's nothing you can do to fix it. I need that Wellington to go to Chef Christina. Red team, Wellington. That's undercooked, and it's just sabotaged the side. It's all next time. Gonna fucking stab somebody. On a kick em while they're down episode. I'm not an evil person, I swear. <laughs> of Hell's Kitchen.